All right. Um, here we go. Uh, should we do on number one on the back of nine four? So Bob is studying bacteria. He has 100 bacteria. He tries to grow an hourly rate of 20%. Compound it continuously. How much do you have in three hours? I already did that problem. Let's do the seven hours one. Hopefully at this point this is easy. N equals N naught. E to the RT. We go N equals N naught. Which is 100. E to the rate should be 0 0.20 times the time, which is 7. So N equals 100. E to the 1.4. Again, calculator, do e to the first, second function log natural. 1.4, remember, calculate already takes it to the power, times 100. And I get 400. In this case, we'll round up because we're not sure if the bacteria would want to be there, then not. Fair enough? All right, let's try number two. Now, number two, we have, instead of carbon 14, one realizes that that it decays at a rate of negative 0.000121% a year. It compounds continuously. Does it wait a month before it decides to decay? No, material atomic decay is completely random and happens whenever. So no, it's not waiting, so therefore it's constantly happening, which means compounding continuously. It's the only model that works. If you started with a, a sample of 16 grams, how much would you have in 10 years around the nearest hundredth? All right, I'm going to pause here and pause this thing, get it ready to be paused. And then uh, you guys try that first problem. We'll try it out and then we'll see. All right, hopefully you've had a chance to do it. So here we go. We can go N equals N naught E to the RT. Uh, my initial amount is going to be 16 grams e to the rate at which it's decaying is point negative point zero 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 one two one and i want to know how much decays in 10 years and so i have that and i go uh, negative point zero 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 one two one times 10 and then i go e to the remember i had multiplies together first and then times 16 and i get then I have 15.98 grams of the material. I should have a rounding point for you. I don't. I apologize. Rather, it's 100. I lie. I do have one. And I even went to it. That's perfect. What about 5,730 years? Everybody try that. Try that out. Try that out. Disembodied voices talking to you. Try it out. Just listen to disembodied voices. They're kind of scary. Here we go. So I'm going to multiply this together. I get negative 0 0.000121 times 5730. And I go e to the. And I multiply by 16, and I get N equals 8.00 grams. Hopefully, your biology slash chemistry teacher taught you a long time ago what a half-life is. When 16 grams, when compounded continuously through decay, every 5,730 years, your sample gets cut in. Your sample gets cut in half. So the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years, which is the way people feel generally calculated because this type of mass scares the heck out of them. Okay, finish this. Uh, you should be able to do all the rest of the remaining problems, and I will uh, meet you on uh, the next assignment, which should be fun.